Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Sunday Chat. Today I wanted to talk to you about sensory overload and the drama that we're subjected to. You may know that I have not watched television for well over 20 years and that was a conscious choice because I don't like commercials but I also didn't want the news. We now watch Netflix and Amazon we're very cognizant of what programs we bring up on there. No commercials, no anything unexpected, it's only the show that we choose to tune into. Well recently I found myself riveted by a new situation that was going on, so much so that I went out and downloaded an app to my phone. And I would get notified every time there was a change in this situation. There was nothing whatsoever I could do about it. No matter what happened with the situation, I wasn't going to do anything different in my life. It wasn't like I was gathering useful, needed information to do something with. It was simply drama. And it did disturb my peace. I realized with it disturbing my peace that for myself, I needed to delete that app from my phone so I wasn't getting constant notifications. I am now much more aware of the internet news because I used to think when it wasn't the loud, shrill, drama-inducing voice of the newscaster, I was just reading the headline, that it wasn't as disruptive to my sensories. I now think it is because these stories, they've learned how to make them very disruptive to your senses and a lot of the sites you click on have videos which then of course have the announcer's voice with all the drama. <laughs> so for myself I have chosen to really be cognizant of that and I wanted to put that out for there for you. There is good from getting information. It's smart to be informed about world events, even events you can't do anything with, uh, anything about. I think we all want to know and that is good but where you are getting worked into a tizzy, having it disturb your peace, having to follow every single update and news headline, I would say that you are probably distracted and detracting from your day and sensory overload. I think there is more joy in the ordinary than in the drama. For me, that could be playing with a puppy, watching these amazing hummingbirds in my yard, going for a walk, seeing the gorgeous smile of my husband, going out with a friend and seeing them laugh, sharing some wine and food. Ordinary things I think are so often overlooked because it's not some amazing event and some breaking headline news and I think the joy is in the ordinary. So I think we all need to do what's right for us but I hope that this was helpful to help you look and say am I too caught up in the drama and the sensory bombardment that we all could be subject to and do I need to do steps to remove some of this from my life to have peace and so I can appreciate the fabulous ordinary things that I have in my world. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day full of peace and ordinary things. <laughs> we'll talk to you next time. It was simply drama and it did disturb my peace. Just like you are. The minute I talk, you're gonna start doing that again, aren't you? We'll try.